Crowd of about 1,500 fans able to see an exciting home opener, a 2-1 overtime victory for the Hartford Hawks as Tom Poitras, the second-year head coach, gets his second straight victory after a win at Fordham. And in the home opener, got to be excited. It was Bernardson and Santaga uh, trying to connect time and time again. And finally in overtime, just two and a half minutes into it, they find the back of the net. Exciting victory in front of a great crowd. Yeah, it's a great night for uh, Hartford Hawks soccer, that's for sure. We get a great crowd, really energetic, and it energized the guys going into the overtime. You know, they come out and they were cheering for them when they said, here come your Hartford Hawks. The, the team picked up with that, you know. And Anthony LaBella won a, a nice ball in the center of midfield and slotted it out to David Bernardson. And, and then from there, those two guys just hit it. I mean, those guys do it in training every day. We see it a lot, but sometimes it's hard to get it in the games. But that was about as perfect as you get. And, you know, it was a hard-fought game. It was a battle. It's a rivalry game, and it's always nice to have some bragging rights for a year. On the pregame show, when we wound up uh, talking to you, uh, you said how you were going to be a little more aggressive on the offensive end. It seemed like you guys did that in spurts at the tail end of the second half. Uh, though with a one nothing lead, they picked up the tempo, wind up scoring uh, with 14 seconds left in the first half. So what did you say to the team at halftime? Well, we had to pick it up again. You know, we had to build them back up because the fact is, you know, when you give up a late goal like that, it, really, it takes your energy out a little bit. But the guys responded really well. And, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with that because we had a lot of freshmen and sophomores, but the juniors and seniors that we do have stepped up a little bit they gave us some good leadership and the young guys responded really well I thought we had some really good chances in the second half you know they might have had a little more of the ball but we had the better of the chances I thought and it was you know a good to see from a young team that's for sure I know Santaga's the hero but let's talk about your freshman goalkeeper really stepped on up huge saves Vilsu Tumi and the defensive line will have to include that but the defense really got uh, tired late but you know in overtime found that second burst and allowed the offense to get the job done you know this is a game that you know for the young guys they've got to find a way to do it from within and hopefully this is a confidence builder for us because you know now we've known we can do it we're in the extra time we're in overtime and the guys did find a little extra you know and maybe it came from the fans maybe it came from themselves but they found it and we get a good goal to win the, the defense was solid you know we, we bent a lot we didn't break too often you know obviously right before the half and that was a little bit of our own uh, game management that we could have done a better job we had a free kick right at the half line we rushed to take it and then they had the chance to come back up the field so that's something we'll address this week in training and what does it mean you have Anthony Santaga uh, named the captain, just a junior. He's the kid that followed you from uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, when you came on over here to Hartford. Uh, but for him to get the goal, lead by example, uh, does it give a little bit of a boost to the rest of the team? Like, yeah, this is our leader? Yeah, I think so. You know, and Anthony's in a situation where he came with us, so he had to prove himself. It's a little extra, you know, because he came from Green Bay, and, you know, the coach came from Green Bay. So, But yeah. he, he handles that really well. He's got big, broad shoulders, and he's, a, he's got a really good head on his shoulder. You know, his the stadium in Green Bay is named after his grandfather, and he was willing to come out and play here at Hartford, and his whole family's here tonight. They're supporting him. Grandfather, grandmother, and parents were all here. So, you know, they get it. You know, it's a great family, and he's got a good head on his shoulders because of it, and he can handle leading the team as well. Congratulations on the victory. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. You can see the big smiles on Tom Poitras' face. The boys will want to pit in the road. They'll have another tough test this weekend as Villanova and Penn will be back home. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for the latest.